So uh, I was chatting with a former sumo wrestler, and it was really interesting. And I love sumo. Uh, I go to the sumo grand tournament uh, from time to time, and the sumo wrestlers uh, are kind of uh, apotheosis of uh, what uh, strong means, and you know, they are strong in spirit, strong in physical body, obviously, and. You know, it's not about two fat men bumping into each other. Well, you do get that, but, you know, um, it, sumo is something much more than that. And, you know, talking to this former sumo wrestler who is uh, uh, actually uh, managing one of the largest uh, universities in Japan now, um, um, it, it was really revealing um, because, you know, um, I realized uh, once again the ethos of sumo, which is not to say much, too much just do it and you know it's a famous nike slogan of course but um it could be equally the you know slogan for sumo wrestlers um you, no matter what you might say uh, if you, you once you are in a small ring um you have to show your physical strength and the result of your training through your boot and that is all there is to it. So, you know, sumo wrestlers, when they win, uh, they are sometimes interviewed during the Grand Tour Sumo Tournament uh, by NHK, the Japan's uh, public broadcaster. And they, uh, they don't say too much. I mean, they just say, Hi, Oyakata no yuto ni yarimashita. Uh, I, I just did what my uh, stable master told me to do. And uh, ichiban ichiban ishoke me toru dake desu. Uh, I will do my best uh, each time when I go into the ring and all these things. And, you know, mind you, the small wrestlers are actually talkative uh, when they retire. So, so, so you'll be surprised that uh, the Yokozuna uh, wrestlers, for example, they talk really fluently uh, once they retire. But as long as they remain an um, active small wrestler, they don't talk too much. And that is the ethos. That is a really wonderful, eth uh, you know, um, ethical judgment, if you like, uh, not to talk at all. And, you know, so it's... Of course, they think uh, about the opponent, they think about strategy, they are very intelligent, but um, it's not in their sense of uh, what is beautiful uh, to talk too much about these things. And I, I think that uh, would uh, be a common uh, feeling uh, among the Japanese people in general, uh, not to talk too much about what they're doing, but just do it properly and, um, you know, with respect to what you're doing and what your opponent is doing and so on. So this ethos of the small wrestler is, I, I think, at the apex of the Japanese feeling, not, not to talk too much, but uh, <clears throat> to do whatever you are required to do at every aspect of your life. And I find that very interesting. And I realized this very important ethos of Japanese culture, talking to a former small wrestler yesterday. So that was a revealing time for me. And uh, I wanted to share it with you, uh, my channel viewers. So that's all.